What's up guys welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I am going to show you on how to create your own first Niagara system. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. So I'm gonna go here into the content browser and I'm just gonna right click and go into new Niagara system. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a new system from a selected emitter so we can have like a template to work on. So in my case I'm going to work with the directional burst so let's go ahead and click it and then just say add and then finish name it how you want i'm just gonna you know leave it like that and then let's go ahead and open it in here okay so we have some different uh things going up in the screen first of all we have in here the preview where you can see quickly uh how the effect will uh, will look then we have the main directional burst um node where we can uh, basically change all the things. How it works is that it starts from top and goes down, okay? So basically, uh, it will also, um, you know, organize in categories. So we have the emitter update, basically uh, in the update in every frame, this will occur what is inside. In the spawn, uh, we will initialize a particle and add a velocity. And then in the particle update, which is different to the emitter update, uh, the particles are, you know, basically each indiv individual, uh, you know, particle. And we have, you know, like the gravity, drag, the color, etc. And then finally, the render is what we're seeing. In that case, is sprite. So basically, like, uh, a 2D image that is applied in a 3D world. And then the, this is the master node, we can say like that, where we have uh, basically like the main controls of the, the system. And then... But lastly, in here, we have the parameters, which are like uh, variables, okay? So in this video, I'm not gonna go into much detail and everything, I just explain it, um, you know, quickly to just, uh, sh you know, kind of make the idea of how this works. And you can also uh, continue in this tutorial and learn how to make your first Niagara system. So uh, what I'm gonna do is use, go into user exposed, so which are, you know, my, uh, variables or parameters in this case and I'm just gonna say create a new linear color because we are going to add a different color into this now this is gonna be color one because I'm gonna make a random range between two colors let's go ahead and create another color which is gonna be color two okay so now we're gonna go into the main uh, new Niagara system node or however you name it and we are going to go into the user parameters because we of course created in the user exposed which are available uh, you know uh, us to edit uh, from this notes so uh, basically you go ahead and select the color I'm just gonna go for example blue and uh, red so there we go I have two colors I'm gonna go ahead and go into the initialize particle node in the direction of burst which happens once uh, it has spawned. So we spawn all the particles and uh, we will assign a color. So basically in color, what we've seen here, uh, we are gonna go into the right section here and we're gonna say random range uh, linear color. So we're gonna go from two colors, which are gonna be here. So literally just drag your first color into the minimum one and then the color two into the maximum and it will compile and you can see how it's creating a uh, basically like a random um, uh, color between the two so it's really cool you can create a lot of cool effects with it uh, also we can change the size in here and the sprite size min and sprite size max also in the initialize uh, particle section here because it's once we create the particle we assign a you know, the color the size etc so let's go ahead and just make it really big to, to show you so let's make basically that the minimum is from uh, 10 and the maximum will be 20. Yes, 20, All right? Go ahead and you can see <laughs> how big they are. And of course it looks bad because it's of course too big. So let's drop down into eight and eight and uh, 12 and 12. And this looks a bit better. So <laughs> not exactly great, but you can see how I'm going and how you can change a lot of things. We can also go ahead and change things like the lifetime. 
this is uh, between two random things so we can you know increase it and basically it will last longer so it will continue fo uh, falling until well uh, the lifetime that we have set in here uh, also we can add a velocity uh, in the start but anyway so yeah in the update we can also change the uh, gravity gravity force in this case it's been uh, minus 180 we can make this like minus 2000 right and uh, they basically fall really really fast and really quick so yeah guys i'm just gonna leave this tutorial here it just uh, was you know explaining the basics of the niagara system and how you can create uh, your own one very easy uh, you know you can go ahead and change things as the color uh, the gravity force the size um, and also in the sprite renderer uh, you can go here and select a different material uh, in my case i'm just using the default one but you can go ahead and create new ones also you can go ahead and create new variables uh, in the user expose section so we can go ahead and edit him, them in the uh, new Niagara system master uh, node and then in the direction of burst you basically change all the uh, particle details uh, so yeah guys I'm gonna leave this video here if you liked please like uh, the video subscribe if you want to see more Unreal Engine Pack Trolls and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and end here so